Hi guys and welcome back to my channel Sonic Love. In today's second video we're going to be doing some testing of N64 on the RG280M. Now I tested Moopin64 on the original RG350 oh god months and months ago now on my channel. Yeah it was uh, quite a pleasant surprise uh, some of the games that were playable if you turn the sound down well not playable but you know I, I was just shocked that it, it was running as good as it was or could be on the rg350 original as you know with, with my community posts if you're keeping up and you subscribe to the channel you'll know that i've been posting some game activity on the rg 280m i'm absolutely loving it i, I, I can't get enough of it so i just thought i was very curious what it would be like to see if N64 was any better or if it could run any better on this little tiny beast of a device. So, as you do, I set it all up and I tested a few games. Not all work. I don't want to give people false hope here to say that every single game works. But there's three games that are most definitely playable and enjoyable playable which is a vast improvement on the RG350 now granted I haven't I don't think I have I might have I'm not too sure you'll have to let me know but I think I tested it but may not have tested it on the RG350M I might do if I haven't I'll go back through the catalogue of videos and if I haven't then I'll do it but this little thing let's have the games do the talking let me show it off I think some of you are going to be very shocked. Just like me. Let me wake up Mario from his slumber. Come on, Mario. And as you can see, it's full speed. I'm not even kidding. How wonderfully smooth is this? And it looks incredible. Still shocked? And it looks so crisp. Now granted, obviously once you get into the bigger areas, it does slow down <laughs> dramatically, but not by much, and surprisingly not by much. I've already beat the big king on top of the hill, I think this is the race now, but once it gets going, it's, pl it's playable. I want to say it looks absolutely beautiful. As I say, it's not running perfect. But in some parts, it really does run full speed. I really wish a developer out there would maybe just do some work on it to patch it out. And just to try and make it run 
Panther, really. But it's running so much better than it was on the original RG350. It's the sound that lets us down more than anything. If it wasn't so choppy, you could probably have a really good experience with it. But you can just turn it down, just so you can vaguely hear it in the background. I just thought it was very surprising just how well it's actually running. Very odd.
Honestly, if there's any devs out there that can maybe do a patch file or a bat file that would maybe overclock this for five, ten percent, possibly even fifteen, that would be incredible because I think that would make a massive difference and help to make some N64 games playable. If there is such a thing that's already out there and I just don't know about it, let me know, guys. But as far as I'm aware, you can't overclock it. As far as I'm aware. Tinder. I said, I just wanted to show you this one first, guys, because this is probably the best performing one out of them all. Um, but yeah, it's surprisingly good, but it's still poor. Let me know what you think, guys. Have you tested it out already? Let's try something else. Let's try Banjo Kazooie. Some may laugh, but let's give it a go. Excuse me. When I tested this out on the RG350, it ran like a bag of shit. Like nowhere, nowhere near playable at all. Three frames per minute. <laughs> Something like that. But check this out. Again, overclock 15% and this will be playable. I just love old games where you can't skip them.
it really does uh, bolster the uh, just how good the fidelity is of the actual screen on the RG280M. It's so crisp and the colours are just so vibrant. Hope it's uh, coming across well. Again, it's not full speed, but it's, it's, it's acceptable, especially when you see it playing, guys. It's just gobsmacked me.
Okay, let's try something else. <clears throat> Again, a little bit of overclocking and this would be running fine. I never knew that was going to happen. You know, like, don't get me wrong, the sound is annoying. I, if I was going to play it, and it, the only option I had was to play it on here, I'd turn the sound off. It's not running great, but for what this is, it's still surprising. Okay, let's move on to something else.
When I test, tested these last time, they were n n they were five times worse than what they are now. Really strange. Same hardware. Don't get it. The only thing I can think of is, I know it's running a 1 gigahertz, but maybe it's 1.1 with this, and that extra bit has just helped it. Who knows? It's another game that definitely if <coughs> a dev out there give it a little bit of love and attention, did some work behind the scenes on it, could possibly definitely get it running. Because the chipset itself compared to the original N64, it's probably on par really to be honest.
the fact that it's doing this, <clears throat> it's great news, man. Can't wait to get the RGB ten. Hopefully, I should get it next week or this week. Come on, fingers crossed. Who else is excited for the RGB ten? Want our PSP N sixty four. Dreamcast. Wonder how well they're going to perform. Wonder if it's actually going to be smooth and flawless. Hope so. Kind of spoiled myself with the GPD. Oh, I've also. Uh, I should have coming in the next couple of days, guys. I don't know if anybody's into PCs or gaming laptops. I've decided to get maybe the bottom end four laptops, gaming laptops, to test out and try um, with gaming emulation and all just gen round purpose with a PC, really, laptop. So I think the Lenovo 340, is it? Who knows? Can't remember. But anyway, that should be coming this week as well. Let me know if you're interested in that, guys. I'll use the Arcade Punk. I think I'm on 2.8 terabyte now. It's growing, it's growing. Yeah, definitely a, a little bit of a push, a little bit of boost overclocking. Definitely get this running. Hey, listen. That was close. Cats killing each other in the background there. I don't know if you heard that.
Okay, quickly show maybe two more. Let's try a Paper Mario. Definitely glitters out a lot more this one. Luigi is turned into a cube. Yeah, so we're just going to leave it there, guys. I just really wanted to give you an insight of how well, or how unwell, uh, N64 was running on the RG280M. Now, <clears throat> yeah, if <clears throat> if we could overclock it, yeah, it would be okay. We'd probably get about three to four games, maybe five games possibly, that would work on it quite well. As it stands, I'd say, if you can put up with it, the dips in the sound and 
I'd say it's, in the playable games, it's just the sound really. But I'd say Mario 64 and Paper Mario are definitely playable. Sound down, but definitely, definitely playable. Let me know what you think, guys, of the performance. I know a lot of people are going to be like, that's just shit. Absolutely shit. But I'm not really doing it on a level where... I'm just impressed, actually, of what it's actually doing for the chipset it has and how well it's running on this compared to the RG350. And I can't remember. I'll have to look through to see whether I definitely test it on the RG350M. If not, I'll definitely do a video on that, guys, just in case, you know. If it's running a bit better on that, maybe. Who knows? Uh, let me know in the comments if you've tested it already on the RG350M uh, and what was it like. So, yeah, if you like the video, guys, hit the like. If you dislike, then dislike it. If you want to see more of my craziness on games, then, yeah, subscribe. And as always, guys, take care.